is trying to help millions to come out of poverty undoubtedly he is role model for large number of our youngsters he is one and only ronnie school ronnie ji thanks for sparing time welcome to the discussion thank you avi pleasure so sir as you are currently aware large number of businesses organizations educational institutes are closed and students youngsters are sitting at home and they are really very getting anxious worried about how what is how this situation is going to unfold whether their businesses their education is going to take hit and more importantly majority of our youngsters are not very great at handling uh, what we can say awkward situations or tough situations they are afraid of failures so my first obvious question to you sir is how often ronnie fails and how he handles his failures yeah i think um, two things for that well i failure is almost a daily part and process and i don't mean that facetiously it's genuinely really you make decisions you make hard calls some of them are bound to go wrong um and then you just move on from that and i think if somebody were to ask me what's my worst failure i always say it's yet to come um to your first point in terms of just young young students and learners and then young professionals and then young entrepreneurs and i'd sort of break that up into three different baskets but i think you know firstly i think we should be all clear that this work from home or lockdown whatever it will be will have its new breed of definition yes we have been locked down for 5 weeks that might get relaxed my personal sense is it may reappear and i think what we all need to do is look at 2020 as a whole year and not about the next one or two weeks and always looking for breaking news as to can i go out can i not go out i don't think anyone needs permission to go out so to speak of course we do right now because there is a lockdown but conceptually in your mind you should be not looking at whether somebody is going to give you permission it's how you're planning your next one and a half years given that the world is going through a very it's not an event it's going to be a long drawn out process so the first thing i would tell everyone is take a much more a whole year or a year and a half view when you recalibrate what are the worst case situations that can happen in a year the worst case is i write off 2020 if i've got admission in college in august and this and the and the university doesn't go yes i'm missing out on a year uh, if i'm a working professional i may lose my job i may not get an increment i may not get a permission uh, promotion yes recalibrate yourself right now because i think the more we calibrate and accept what could be the scenarios not for the next 2 weeks and 3 weeks because if we keep calibrating for 2 to 3 weeks we'll have very transient um, approaches we won't be able to solve for anything our stress levels will be much higher and we won't really be solving anything and frankly you don't have a choice because the uncertainty that this event has brought about or this uncertainty that this uh, covid-19 has brought about right now is unprecedented no lead and i i think i would not envy any leader in this position because they have to take even harder calls so don't look for that take your own calls and take a one year view take a one and a half year view is my sort of first permission so coming to learners and students and the academic field yes i mean i know since we have an edtech company in upgrad that right now more and more colleges are evangelizing online learning now the only caution i would say is online learning is not that the professor who to which class you went to now can stand in front of you you put a camera and he's lecturing to you and then your work is done in fact it's worse because that that there's with that does not come the learning experience does not come the appraisal system does not come the feedback does not come the peer learning does not come the participation so actually that will evolve as we go forward uh, if in far as online is concerned so working professionals yes this is definitely going to be a tough year it's got, the uncertainty is just starting i think we should be ready for more uncertainty and a lot of people we talk about this is the time also for you to figure out how to upskill yourself or figure out some way in which my communication with people is we need to get in front of the line how are you going to get in front of the line in 2020 2021 when organizations will be reviewing their overall caliber of people saying look the bottom 30% have to go or i'm going to focus on the top 30% 
And if you're middling somewhere, you could be in the let go, non-promoted or not got an increment, or you could be in that top 30%, which when any recovery happens, more they will get more sought after than ever before. So what are we doing today to not lose a single opportunity to really figure out, this is the time for me to figure out how do I get in the top 30 and the top 40. When people are looking at being entrepreneurs, firstly, I'd say, yes, look, this is a tough time right now to start off if you've been an entrepreneur. For whatever reason you've been a fence sitter for so long this, this is about the time to sit on the fence i would never say sit on the fence because you need to be clear why you're doing what you're doing and why you're getting excited about what you're getting excited about and why you're going to be able to do this entire uh, initiative process so to there and to everyone there i would say very clearly that you are 